Hello, I am Bentham and welcome back to Production Line, where in the previous episode we started building a new factory over here, because we're just like, you know what, this isn't, this can't be saved. I mean, there's some work that can be done, but let's just build a new one, because it's easier and we can split it up into all the different components. There's now a clock at the top of the screen. It appears to be showing, like, I think that's minutes and hours, rather than anything else, because it's going so slowly and this is normal speed, so it would be a second per second otherwise. Um, I imagine this is supposed to start when you start the game, but the update that's introduced this has happened in the meantime. There's been, like, an update... Well, I, I was gonna say there's been a lot of updates since I started. There's been an update pretty much every time I've recorded this, and uh, this most recent one has changed a couple of things a little bit more visually, so you can see there's little warning icons coming up now that are a little bit different than before, rather than uh, having this when you're fully zoomed out, which it's all sort of things to like make it a little bit easier to see what's going on in your factory. Yeah, this has been introduced, but I guess because this is an old save from before that update, it, it's it's borked a bit. Anyway, let's go to triple speed, because it, I, I was going to say it means more money, but we don't know that for sure. Let me check the the earnings. Yeah, profit is maybe not so great now. That's something we have to keep an eye out for. We might end up suddenly losing a bunch of money from all this stuff that we're building that isn't yet producing sellable cars. Hmm. I'm hoping this goes up here. Uh, what are the what are the expenses? Can we like break it down to what it's made? Oh, we can look at this stuff. Expenses. The main thing at the moment is component purchase, which oh, that, well, we need to start building our own stuff then, I guess. Finished research. I mean, we could start researching this stuff. No, it's not a bad idea. Uh, these I just realized these are ordered by uh, by alphabetical. No wonder it's got like I was like this isn't the top thing. This is the top thing. In fact, no, this is the top thing. It's all reversed. This is terrible. I mean, we should probably start at the beginning. I'm going to try researching... Oh, no, this is the beginning. Well, we'll try researching... Oh, we already researched axles. Let's research fuel tanks as well. And then we'll try making some of those, I think. But we'll probably just try and get this factory actually functional first. Here we can look at the 24-hour one, which is a lot more useful than the one-hour one because things are constantly changing. I mean, it's good to, to see what the most recent issues are, but yeah, overall, component purchase is the biggest one. Oh, is, oh, maybe raw materials is that one, and component purchases me building these buildings. That would make more sense, because I imagine that is the, the vast majority of our expenditure. And there we go, we are still making a profit, but, it, like, if we've got 90% of this factory done, and it's not working yet, then I imagine we'll start to lose money, and so I'll have to keep an eye on that. So we've got, we've got research done, we'll, we'll scroll down and give this, uh, uh, let's try administration. I've been told that the orange ones refer to, uh, things that don't give you physical buildings is the idea of it so anything that's wait except this said it's a new slot I it's a bit weird maybe this doesn't actually give you a new a new structure I don't know we'll work it out as we go so we've got fit vents here let's get this menu up so we need to work out what is next uh, what's vents part of this is still body we're at at the moment. We've still got a lot to get through, actually. This is a little bit worrying. It... Have we done that? Where are we? Where are the doors? Have we done the doors? I need to find out where we were again. I need to get my bearings here. We've got body frame here. Okay, body frame is where the vents are. Okay, so we've done the vents. Next up is to fit the roof. Let's check the timing for that. Nine seconds. We'll need two of it. Can't split it up anymore. Alright, so fit roof and we'll make a little space here. But let me just check something back here. See, this takes... These are all normal times. Is there anything along here that takes more... Just this one and research complete. doop de doop de doo Computerized sales. Yeah, sure. Uh, this one. Yeah, this one takes slightly too long. And this one, yeah. So it's okay, because I was just thinking, I, I was sort of forgotten in the last episode that I would need to make sure there's a gap at the front and the back of any particular structure that, um, that uh, I would need more than one of, and I think I sort of forgot about that before. But it seems like everything's okay, and I didn't screw anything up yet. I mean, we'll find out when we get this thing running. So that's fit roof. Next is fit door panels. Again, what's the time for this? Perfect. 
that's a bit of a worry. I didn't realise that there might be stuff like this sticking out, but it makes sense. We've already had structures like that before. Bit windows. Right, now we're running out of space, though. We've got to be careful here. In fact, technically, aren't we not allowed to build something in this space? We're allowed to now, but we weren't... Hmm... There's some weirdness going on there. Yeah, I think at this point we need to... Right, I'm going to pause at this point, because I'm starting to worry... Actually, the money's still coming in. Let me... Let me check the income. It's okay. I mean, we're... We're, we're positive, so I guess it's alright. But now we've got to worry... Like, I'm going to double back, but I need to make sure there's enough room to have two of the things that there need to be two of. Which is a bit of a problem, because this is going to be out here. Finish this science. Yeah, I made the science too quick. It's made it very difficult to get anything done. And this is going to be all the way out here. Unless I... I, I can't really move it around, because then I'll block the... Uh, I'll block where the belts need to be. I mean, we could just have it so that when this thing comes along, it just sneaks around here, and we hope that it's not a problem. Hopefully this will just be a self-contained thing when it's done. And also we've got to remember that the belts have to come back round and go into here. Just got to watch out for that. Right, I think we do need to sort out the extra buildings now before we uh, before we box ourselves in a little bit later on. We'll get a heater, because why not? So this is fine, this is fine. This is not fine, so we need two fit fuel tanks. There it is. And I guess literally just plonk it down there. So we now have two of those, so they'll be done in four seconds. That's absolutely fine. Next up is fit roll cage that we need two of. And that's the awkward one. It's going to be like that. I mean, we could do it like that, but it makes no difference to anything, really. I guess it could help to have it slightly more compressed with this thing. Yeah, I'll, I'll build it there. So yeah, that's right out in the way of everything over here. Finish with this thing. I wish it saved your position in the uh, in the scroll thing. So you didn't have to scroll back down every time you were researching just the next thing along. Okay, so... These should all be fine. They should all be five seconds or under. Apart from this one, that we'll need two of. So this is fit roof. There's the roof. And, oh, wait. Now you see what I've done there is I've been a derp. Right, well, we'll build this here, and then we're going to have to move the door panels thing. Which is an expensive mistake. That's $8,000 simply ceasing to exist. And now I've forgotten what I even just did. It was yeah, I've just done fit roofs, so next on the list... Where's the roof? There's the roof. Is fit door panels. That was the one. So that has to go here. And now we've finished whatever that was. Tired something. Spare wheel. Go. Right, fit door panels. Next is fit windows. No problem with that. So let's just start going this way. And as of yet, we don't have to worry about the dimensions of anything. I wish there was a planning tool. I wish you could plunk down a ghost image of something so that you could lay it all out and work out if it works while paused and then build it if it's all okay. But maybe that's just because I play Factorial so much and that's such a, a useful feature in that. So that's fit windows. Uh, then we need fit wing mirrors. Why is this got... Well, they've all got different symbols. I was wondering why it didn't have as minus, but that's because it's not a sub thing. Or whatever. Oh yeah, because you can't like separately make them, I guess? What's the time? The time is absolutely fine. We can plant that right there. Next is paint. And uh, oh dear. Paint is bad. Paint is very bad. But we can upgrade it. But I don't know how much we can upgrade it. I guess I need to just build one and see. So undercoats, we need two of those. Straight away. Oh, there's anything we can do about that, so... Oh, we're really struggling for room here. steering. I wish you could also queue the science. That would be amazing as well. Right, so we have enough space to build two of these next to each other. That, that does work. I mean, we could just put it here, but I feel like it's a good idea to have some space here. Also, I probably shouldn't have blocked this off. Now I think about it. Hold on. Let me try building an importer. Let's see if it works. It does work. 
These didn't work before. It was specifically a belt that was blocking it, though. Weirdness. Maybe it was just changed. I mean, there's been like three or four updates since then, so it doesn't make... It, it's, it makes a bit of sense that it would... Uh, that it could have been changed since, uh, since... Okay. More science. Endless science. It, the good thing is that, like, it won't be very long till we've just got everything researched and we're just free to do whatever. Right, so, paint undercoat. Plonk it down there. And then, let's check for upgrades. High pressure paint nozzles. Oh, they only increase it by 10%. And it's it's exactly the same as the, uh, as the robot upgrade. So, yeah, it's not that paint can be boosted more, it's that we are going to have to have two facilities for it. And then for drying, we will need five. Oh dear. And yeah, the upgrade for that is just going to be the same as this, it's just going to be the alternative to the robot stuff. So the painting is a massive problem. We're going to need five of these. I mean, they're not huge, but... It's a big number. We're gonna have to like go around the corner and start putting them down here. Getting things to split up nicely between them might be actually that this splitting up shouldn't be too difficult. It seems like the system's fairly good at working out what makes sense. Just sending them to the empty ones if they can do. So if you just build one and then another one and then we turn a corner and just build a oh it's gonna be weird. I'm just gonna start building because you can't build ghost images and I need to be able to see what what I'm what I'm doing, and then like that. Just do it there. And then build one there, and oh, it doesn't quite line up. Delete it. Oh, let me check for the upgrade stuff as well, just in case it. Oh, there is. There are more steps. Do they just stack on top of each other, or is it just not telling me what it actually does? Because I haven't researched it. And why does... More research. Constantly interrupting everything. And yet being so ultimately useful. You just have both windows open here. So it's interesting that this only... Oh, you can't move the windows, though. It's interesting that this only has one upgrade visible, whereas the other one... Oh, well, now that's gone. The other one has three upgrades visible, so maybe the speeds go different. I, maybe we should just not upgrade this, because my original thinking was that I would just upgrade everything, and that would just mean that I get a car every, like, three seconds or something instead, but now it seems to be getting more complicated. There's different amounts of upgrading you can do for different things, which borks everything. Probably. We'll just build a, a thing that makes a car every five seconds, and then we'll go from there. We'll, we'll, we'll get there. Oh, we're going to have the same problem again with the dry finish, but even worse. We're going to need six of those. Cruise control, we'll get that. So dry undercoat, we could build one there, and then one there, and then one there. And press it a little bit. There, there, and there. That works. It's a little bit dumb, but it works. Think. Now I'm confusing myself. Yeah, here. And then here. And then here. Oh, this is terrible. But it, 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 it'll, it'll be okay. And then some out of this mess will come a belt. And this belt will then lead into... Once this research has been done, this belt will lead... Into two paint finish stations. We just put them right over here, I guess. And then we need these to lead into six of these. Oh dear. Okay, yeah, it is six. It's... Oh. Having them like this might make sense. Just have these just run along this way and then go into stuff here. How do we even make room for this? I already did this mess over here. I mean, we could do a similar thing where we have them, like, layered like this as they go, but that still takes up so much space. Like, have one there, then one there, then one there, then one there. I mean, we can do it. It's going to sort of encroach on this space a bit. I'm starting to worry that we're going to run out of room for the rest of this factory in a minute. 
more research. Oh, this is horrible. We could we could save some space by using this bit here. Yeah, the belt would just run this way, and then some of it would split off that way, and it, it would it would function. I'm pretty sure it would function. At the moment, that's probably all we need. I'm just going to try doing it. So this is, yep. Here, and then here. Oh, there is a... We can make it a little bit better. We can do... It's this one. We can do like that, and then flip it around like that. And then that would be three of them, then we'd have one here, and then another one here, and then there'd be just one on the end, like that, which would be a bit awkward. Or we could start it over here, and that would just make more space be used up. I'm going to try this. And then this. More science. Security features. Then we need this. And then we need... Oh, we could do this as well. I didn't think of that. That makes significant amounts of sense. Yeah, I think... We'll build that. So that's one, two, three, four, five, six. We've done it. We've got enough. Next, we'll research central locking. Right, that's the dry finish bit done. Next, I hope this bit is more kind. Oh, there's a lot. Okay, so these are just the the manufacture bits. So far, I'm ignoring those. What probably is the best way of doing it is having like all the manufacturing happen right next to the stations that use them, which is most definitely not what I'm doing. And yeah, I guess we'll we'll do that when we upgrade to a bigger factory. At some point, we'll finish with this one and we'll start working on a, a larger scale thing. I might just jump straight to huge. I thought that might get me killed, actually. I keep saying killed. I don't actually die. Unless the debt collectors are really... I mean, I don't go into debt. I go to zero and then I stop. Let's see. We'll get a car alarm. Wow, our, the cars we're selling at the moment are terrible. They just don't have any features. So these are all... Steering column and steering wheel are separate. Okay, that's everything in the engine section split up. I'm just going to minimize all these other ones. Just get them out of the way. There's too much going on here. Okay, so fit the flywheel. I need, oh, I need to check the numbers for this. Okay, so we've got... Oh, it takes six seconds. Why would you do this to me? That's okay. That's okay. That one isn't. That one isn't. There's too many things that are having to be split into two. I think we might run out of room. This is going to be horrible. Keyless entry. Hmm. I'm going to start connecting the rest of this stuff up because I'm worried that I might have missed something and it's all going to go wrong. So I'm just going to run these along here. this over to here, this goes to here, and then also to here, and then this mess begins, so this runs to here, and then it also runs down here to here, this runs down here, that didn't quite work, it, it's still not worked, why aren't you working? I'm just going to send you over this way, get the sentries done, next up is leather interior, why isn't it letting me connect this up? Have I done it backwards? I can't have done it backwards. Oh, and this hasn't worked either. There we go. Why aren't you working? I need you to work. All this stuff worked before. Oh, now it... Right, sure, yeah. Whatever. Okay, uh... This to here. Then this to... Oh, don't... Oh, don't do... Oh, wait. I didn't leave enough room because I forgot that this would be here. Oh, no! Can I just do that? Does it... Does it let me? It, that, that wouldn't work, that makes no sense. So I'm going to have to rearrange significant things here. Thank God we're still making profit overall. Oh, maybe we're not. 
Uh, it's all because of all the building, isn't it? Next, research. Climate control. Oh no, and if I move... Oh, I can just slide this across by one, and that'll be okay. It's not going to have to, like, have all this be rearranged. Right. So the, the try undercoat. I'm going to have to reopen this bit. That one, and then we'll just... Yeah, delete, delete, delete. Dry undercoat. There. There. And there. Thinking about it, I could have done this sort of structure for these, but I didn't think of that, and I've already rebuilt it, so... Oh well. Right. Back to doing the conveyors. So this now has to go like this instead. This goes like this. This goes like this. This can just go... These all appear to line up correctly, so I think this would all work. As far as I can tell, everything at the moment would make sense. More science. We have now run out of time, though. So I'll finish by just hooking everything we've got so far up to the resource conveyors. So, this here, we'll also run this up across to here, and it can do a little corner here. And this over here can connect across to these two. And then just to try and help with the situation, I'm going to try connecting this up. And maybe that'll help. Take the load off this. And then... Oh, of course, these don't actually need any supplies bringing in, which is always nice. So there we go. The cars are coming through. Nothing said that there's a warning. They are being delivered to the things. They're spinning around a bit as they go. That's weird. They're, like, they're doing a, the drifting. That doesn't even... That's not a corner. They're actually... Oh, it did something to do with this thing being weird, I imagine. Yeah, this is all lining up. Everything seems to be going okay, so... It's a nightmare, but it's getting there. And soon enough, we should be able to make a car every five seconds and get all the money in the world. Um, but it's going to take a little bit of weirdness going around here, I feel like. That's all we have time for today. So as soon as I've set some more research... In the form of heated seats... I shall say goodbye, thank you for watching, and I shall see you next time.